Hello and welcome back. So now in this video we will connect our application with Firebase database. So first of all open up your favorite browser and in the URL search for Firebase console. Right here open up this URL which is console.firebase.google.com. Right here if you didn't create any project then you will see a button which will be create a new project. Something like that but for now in my case as you can see I already have a project so that's why it is showing this button which is add project so i will simply click on it and let's name this as chat app click on continue right here make sure to enable this then continue as well right here select this default account for firebase then click on this create project and now in a minute our project will be created So now click on continue and as you can see we are inside our chat app project now click on this authentication then click on this get started inside this sign in methods click on this Google and enable this right here we need to provide our project support email so click on this and select your email in here for example my one is alize407 click on this save button so now as you can see it shows that google enabled after this uh, click on this gear icon then click on this project settings right here click on this android icon now let's provide our package name right here get back to the project Click on this Android, then app, and open up this fuel.gradle. If you scroll down right here, we have this application ID. Copy it. Get back to the browser right here. Paste it. Now let's click on this register app. For now, let's just skip the download config file step. Okay, click next. Let's add this line to our project. So copy it inside the android okay we have this build.gradle file right here inside the dependencies simply paste it now let's go back we need to add this line as well to our project then app module and then the build.gradle okay so click on this as you can see now it is copy so this is basically inside the Android then app and then this build.credit okay this one right here scroll down after this dependencies at the bottom simply paste it now let me just close these files get back to the browser click on this next and then continue the console now as you can see right here we have the app connected now now we need to add the SHA1 and SHA2 keys and if you guys don't know how to do that then make sure that you watch the previous videos that how to get the SHA1 and SHA2 keys okay so make sure to watch the previous video so my SHA1 and SHA2 keys are already on my desktop okay as you can see right here so I can just simply copy the SHA1 key so get back to the browser right here click on this add fingerprint and simply paste the SHA1 key right here and then click on this save so now as you can see it is added now let's copy the SHA2 key just copy it from here now again let's click on this add fingerprint copy this sorry paste it click on this save and guys let me tell you again that if you didn't have the SHA1 and 2 keys then make sure to watch the previous video in that video we explain how to get the SHA1 and SHA2 keys because every computer has its own SHA1 and SHA2 keys now let's add the SHA2 key so right here copy it click on this add fingerprint paste it and then click on this save and as you can see now both of the keys are now added now let's just download the google json file let's click on this show in folder and cut it from here 
in the project inside this Android folder then this app folder right click right here and click on paste click OK and the Google JSON file is now added 